Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. This is Antoinette Williams, the founder of FAB, Personal Growth and Development. FAB stands for Focus, Attitude, Behavior. Focus on your attitude to change your behavior. Why? Because change begins within. So I'm here, right, with a moment of transparency because I think that is the best way to do things, right? Let's be transparent, okay? As of late, I have been going through some self-reflection mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I have learned one thing about myself and I tend to hold on to relationships that really should have been over, right? And the reason behind that could be behind like abandonment issues okay i have spoke on my father before because he was such a great man when i was a child and he was a great father not a great husband and so when the relationship ended it's like he done broke up with my mom and broke up with us too and it was like what's that about you know what i mean and before the final you know grand finale of them not being together he had always been in and out in and out in and out in and out and unfortunately, it uh, I didn't even realize, like, because he was so in and out, in and out, it set the expectation that that's what people do. Like, they love you and, like, they're here, but then they're not. But they're always going to come back, you know, and they may not treat you right, but they'll be back. And because of this, I have found that I have truly held on to relationships that really should have been let go a long time ago. I have even romanticized my past relationships like oh he was the love of my life there will never be anyone like him oh the experience and it's just like if it really was the way you're making it seem then why you're not together why you're not together when the truth of the matter is it did not work out and there's plenty of reasons why it did not work out now does that mean that i love the person any less no but have you ever done that you know where you are in situations and perhaps you value and view this relationship more than they do and they may show you how much they do not value the relationship but you hold on because of the history you hold on because of the old memories you know well they're not there for me now, but when I really, really, really needed someone, they were there. And because of that, that's my friend. That's my man, 100 grand. That's it. I've done this. I've done this. And it took me a little too long to realize, like, hey, the dynamics of this relationship has shifted, okay? This has become one-sided. It is no longer reciprocated. Does this make you feel good? No. No. You are the grand prize, love. You don't have to beg for anyone's attention or affection at all. And if you are put in a position where you feel like you have to or you have to do something, anything, and if I don't do it, then no longer, they're not going to want me anymore. Well, if I don't do it, then somebody else will, so I have to do it. I really don't want to, but I want to keep them happy. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Yeah, like I remember uh, as a kid, you know, and we had to pick out the teams for the kickball team. And in my mind, I'm seven foot five. In real life, it says five foot one. Okay, been the same height since fifth grade. Honey, the kids ain't want to pick me. Okay, I was always at the end. It'd be between me and my good girlfriend who was a little shorter than me. And they never wanted to pick us on the team. So then if you did get picked on the team, it was like, yay. You know what I mean? We're on the team. Even though you were second to last pick, you were just happy to be picked. We're not doing that no more. Mm -mm. Growing up and somebody got a crush on you and it's like, all right, I guess I like you too since you like me. Mm -mm. We're not doing that anymore. Yeah, that doesn't work. Why are we settling? Why are we settling for less? And do not get me wrong. Everyone is not where you are. They don't see things the way you do. However, <laughs> however, there must be an expectation. There must be some qualifications. There must be a criteria. And if they do not fit, that is okay. That's okay. But in order for there to be qualification and a criteria, you have to know yourself. What can you deal with? What won't you deal with? I, in my 20s, I was dealing with somebody older than me, and he told me that a lot of times when people get into relationships, they only focus on the good. 
But in actuality, you should focus on the bad, like the parts that you don't like, and then ask yourself, can you really deal with this? Can you? And I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. Never thought about it like that. And it's so funny because I, you really have to think about this, right? What are the deal breakers for you? What doesn't work for you? What does work for you? The only way to know is to get to know you. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes it's a little trial and error, but it's totally worth it in the end, all right? Because once you know yourself, it is very easy to just be upfront, okay? Because when you're honest with yourself, you can be honest with the world. Hi, my name is Antoinette Williams. Most people call me Tony, okay? Yeah, I have four children with four different personalities. I do. All right. So this is a whole package deal. You know how some people say that they come with baggage. Honey, I come with luggage. All right. The whole Louis Vuitton collection. That's what I have. OK, I don't have time to waste. You know what I mean? So I need to know what your attention is, your intention with my attention. What are you here for? OK, because if you are not in a space to add to. What are you here for? You came to subtract. You came to divide. No, I have worked on me and I'm continuing to work on me. Okay. Because Lord knows I'm not, not a perfect person at all, but I am in a place where I like me and I love me. So if you come into this arena, you have to like you and love you and like me too. You see, you added to that likeness. Mm -hmm. I am happy with me. You need to be happy with you, secure within yourself. Okay. Confident within yourself. Because if you come over here, you have to add to the confidence. You have to add to the happy. You have to add to the liking. Financially, I have been handling my business for quite some time alone. So if you are coming over here, you must be financially fit on your own. Self-sufficient. Hello. Okay. So you can do what? Add to. And when you're adding to, okay, you're adding to this happiness, I'm going to multiply it. When you're adding to this peace, I'm going to multiply it. When you're adding to this financial, honey, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to multiply it. You know why? Because when people feel appreciated and valued, they tend to do more. Yeah. When you feel appreciated and valued, you will do more. Okay? Do people actually really like exercise? Maybe some do. Okay? Others do not. But why do they do it? Is it because of the results? Is it because of the way they feel? There's many reasons. However, they do it in spite of being tired, in spite of it raining, in spite of this is stupid, I don't fuck feel like it, in spite of, okay? They still do it. Yeah. And that's where you need to be. And you need to pour into yourself. And you need to take care of you and set the expectation for yourself, realistically, okay? And set the expectation for others, because we have this life to live and it doesn't make sense to dwell on the past. It doesn't make sense to be so worried about the future when you can be present. Yeah. And in present day, do inventory of your life and figure out what you like and what you don't like and be honest with yourself. What can you deal with? What are your deal breakers? And go from there. This message has been brought to you by Fab, personal growth and development. Fab can be found on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as YouTube. So please, please, why not? Tell a friend to tell a friend about this fab life and welcome to the fab family and have an amazing day.